Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good day to you, wherever and whenever you're watching. My name is Cap, and welcome to episode 2 of Minecraft Beta 1.7 in 2024. So far, I... Ah, yes, there's my camera account collecting wood for the first time. <laughs> um... Yeah, I've, I've really gotten to grips with um, setting up the camera account with the relevant mods and stuff. Because creative mode and spectator mode do not exist in this version, so I had to, I had to get creative and do my research. But I think you'll like how it turned out. So sit back, pour yourself a glass of chalky milk. You deserve it. And let's take it slow, in what's commonly referred to as the Golden Age of Minecraft. Ah. Between episodes, I got busy organising my storage. Of course, you can't see any of that, you could just see me looking at some chests and poking around occasionally. <laughs> You'll have to take my word for it. I also uh, started work on gathering resources, gathering lots of cobblestone. Um, I dug a little skylight above the ladder shaft to let some light shine down. And then, contrary to the popular rule one of Minecraft, I dug straight down. Which, you know, as long as you accept the risk and you're not carrying anything valuable with you, it, it's fine. The vast majority of the time, nothing bad happens. You might fall in lava and die, but I didn't. <laughs> I started a branch mine at Y level 16 because that's kind of the optimum where literally every kind of ore spawns. You get diamonds, redstone, gold, iron, coal, all of them. I also uncovered a dungeon with a spawner at the end of this, uh, this branch. You know, I think it's... There's something meditative about counting along um, your branch mine. So this is the way I've, I've always done branch mining since the early days. We go every six, because statistically, the number of ores you're going to encounter, compared with the number of blocks you're digging, is most efficient at six apart. You may miss some ores. There might be ores in the middle that you miss, um, but it kind of doesn't matter, because it's just effort versus return is all that matters, really. But yeah, the process of counting blocks. I don't really count numbers in my head. I, I've just developed a feel for the rhythm. We we just go... That's interrupted my rhythm. I think that's five. Two, three, four, five. Yeah. A lot of zombies nearby. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And a torch by here. And that's 50 blocks from tunnel, so I put a torch on the floor. This is very, very good for my OCD, this game. I am, of course, going to dig all around the diamonds before I dig the diamonds, just to make sure. There must be a very big cave nearby. Possibly a zombie spawner. Because, wow. Okay, I think we should be good. My Oh, we've got something up there, too. Nice, nice, nice. My first diamonds. 
Yeah. That's enough for two pickaxes. Okay, okay, where's this cave? This way? There's the tunnel, there's our d source of our noise. Hold on while I close my curtain so I can see better in the dark. Machine gun! <laughs> I adore the old bow mechanics, just because they're silly. It's, it's silly the way bows work in this one. <laughs> Which is fine, because this isn't real, it's a video game. Some lapis. Which I think is the only way that you can get blue. That was the thing, if you look at, uh, like, fashion through history, certain colours, especially if they were very vivid, strongly dyed colours, were very expensive and difficult to produce, because they required rare minerals or rare ingredients and it's why if you look at for example ancient greece or was it ancient rome i confuse those two a lot but uh, purple was a very wealthy color to be wearing to the point where um like lower sort of middle middle classes might be able to afford a thin sash with a streak of purple on it and you would have to be extremely wealthy, perhaps even emperor, to have a robe that is all purple. Yeah, colour was a good way to show your wealth. And that was something that I remember at the time I appreciated about this version of Minecraft, being like, I'm going to have all blue carpet floors. Oh, there, there it is. Is it, is it below? You can't hear if something's above or below you. Ooh, cobblestone. Yes, there's a dungeon here. There's a spawner. Yes, hello. They have quite a long reach. Oh, there's a creeper. <laughs> no. Uh oh. If that goes off, I'm in trouble. Is it safe? Obviously, grinding XP isn't a thing, but I can still grind them for feathers. Yeah, zombies drop feathers, so... Automatic feather farm, perhaps. Oh, and the mossy cobble! I forgot about that. Ah, also, my cobblestone texture that I was gonna get. I said I would change that last time, didn't I? One moment, please. Ah, that's better. <laughs> that's how cobblestone's supposed to look. See, the thing that uh, reminded me was that when they softened the appearance of cobblestone, they did not change the appearance of mossy cobblestone at the same time, so it looked a bit out of place for a while. So, uh, I have collected all of the mossy cobble. Mossy cobblestone is extremely rare. It only spawns in these. These are called dungeons. This is what a dungeon is. Great. Oh. More moss stone. Is it mo- Ah, oh, moss stone. Yeah. That's what it's supposed to be called. Just cooking up some pork chops. One diamond pick, so that I can do some obsidian at some point, and one 
diamond sword. The best sword. I would love to know what you think of this Minecraft beta playthrough so far. Like, if, if you're watching at this point, jump into the comments section and let me know what you like about this. What, what floats your boat here? Two hits for creepers. Nice. Diamond sword's all you need. The situation with the farm that I built is that animals keep spawning inside it, and that's no good. Oh, and when they don't spawn inside, sometimes they fall down from here and end up in here, and players or mobs or anything walking on tilled soil uh, tramples it. The only way to avoid that is to sneak while you're walking on tilled soil. Also, my tree farm, I need to cap the height of these. So it would be beneficial for my crop farm and my tree farm to be indoors. And the question is, do I build a building outside to do this? Or do I dig underground to do it? Both would be cool. Oh, I can make myself some armor. I forgot about that. I often forget that that's a thing. <laughs> you can, you can protect yourself from damage. I kind of want to make a, a greenhouse. A greenhouse would be cool. Need to find sand. I think there's some sand over that hill. But uh, let, let's prepare, and we'll go on a journey. Right, shovels at the ready. Let's go find some sand. And the last place I saw sand was over there. Perfect. Thank you. Tasty chops. See, wild animals spawn so much in the wild that you, you don't really need to farm animals in the early game. And then I mined all this sand without recording. I just, I, I thought I was recording uh, and I was not. I have lots of sand now. <laughs> Lesson learned. Just to clarify, there was quite a large heap of sand in this area before I before I did the digging. <laughs> in amongst the confusion of thinking I was recording when not recording and vice versa, I accidentally shot this lovely piece of b-roll. Nice. So, let's get cooking. Sand is a lot more useful than glass. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna smell all of this sand. <laughs> Sorry, I said that backwards. Glass is a lot more useful than sand. Yeah. Let's cook some pork chops. So, a single piece of coal and a swift hand. Because you've got to wait around. Drop it in, shift click. Oh, and the, the text is in front of the pork chop, look. That's weird. And if you're quick enough, you can get seven on a single piece of coal. Not the eight you'd expect. In defense of the way things work in this version, cooked pork chops do heal you instantly by quite a lot. So I think making them non-stackable, it's a fair balance. Shall I install a skylight? I think that would be cool. There it is. I think that that's not that's not terribly conspicuous. You wouldn't even know. Well, you might. 
I'll, I'll uncover it slightly. But now, um, daylight is a bit brighter in here. Because with, with only torchlight to go on, it's, it's quite dark and dingy, isn't it? A bit murky. I like that. Decorate that with some cobble now. That's right, I said decorate with cobblestone. <laughs> so that it looks deliberate. Perhaps I should have like a separate bedroom. Oh, this bit here. Um, this little... <laughs> this little one-man hole. Um, that was gonna be for my camera account. Because I could like hide it in there and then use free cam. But free cam don't work so well. So he's... <laughs> I say he, like he's a person. <laughs> my camera account is just is just a flying, just a flying dude in the sky. I do hear a lot of running water um, near my base, so I think I need to address that at some point soon. Okay, let, let's let's dig forwards to what I've already built up there. Is that ah? Oh, there it is. Yes. Here we go. I think for completeness, I know it's on the inside, but some cobble there. Lovely. Satisfying clearing the shuffle that way. Leaving that side rough could be nice. And we can see into another room. That's very cool. Um, right, so this thing. I have to think of a design for this. See, there's there's another cow in there. <laughs> oh yeah. Slabs are made of stone. And some th <laughs> Some things just take a really long time to mine. Wow. Maybe I could leave the fences there. I'm just trying to find an excuse not to have to break all of these fences. I could leave them there and build up like a like a fence wall. <laughs> and then have have a glass roof. A fence wall. Hmm. There might be something in that. Gonna need some logs first. saplings well that's gonna be good for the tree farm isn't it when uh, when I build that next I think this really really highlights the need for a tree farm now <laughs> dealing with those like the extra big trees where you have to climb up and fish around for the branches Fences don't attach to that. Oh, they only attach to other fences, don't they? Hmm. I think, uh, ooh. Nighttime. I like how noticeable that nighttime is. You just, you see a wave of darkness sweep the land and you're like, oh, it's time to sleep. You can only sleep at night. Ah. Oh. One more. There we go. I'm thinking of just incorporating fences as the walls. So 
some logs, some slabs. So it's just like a very low kind of thing with a, with a low ceiling so that I can't jump. But then how would the glass go in? What if it was like strips of glass? Yeah, that could be good. And then plank. Glass. I like it. And I also like that you could see you could see the glass top um, over the edge there. This front part, since this is going to be a door, this should have a little bit more um, a little bit more plankage. Or just for a little bit of depth. Put it this way around. Sweet! I found out that if you move back far enough and zoom all the way in, it makes it look almost isometric. Like a lot of old, uh, isometric 3D pixel art games like SimCity 2000 and Transport Tycoon. Kind of retro. And that, uh, oops, <laughs> throwing things on the ground, crafting again. I could, I could hide water underneath the corners, couldn't I? and have a little gravel path in the middle. A log. Here we go. Look, look at the water spilling out of the water bucket. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Like, that's, that's a nice graphic. the only thing that is not perfect about this is the lighting situation which I can fix by doing that and that looks very cool my crops are safe kind of want easy roof access Just in case, you never know when you'll need some easy roof access. Could texture that up with some signs. There, it's got, it's got a little bit of 3D. I feel like a pro builder. Because <laughs> I added some stuff. Hmm, okay, the next thing would be tree farm. Isn't there a word for that? Is it, is there a word for that pig? Is it, is it arboretum? I'll look it up. Arboretum, a botanical garden devoted to trees. I suppose, yeah. I'll call it the Arboretum, because it's nice. For the so-called Arboretum, I wanted to find somewhere I could build it that matched what was already going on, kind of building it into the hill with bits of buildings sticking out. And my eye kept getting drawn to that little cave on the hill just above my base. I think that would look pretty good if there was a building sticking out there. And I just want to take a moment to reflect on what it's like playing in this version of Minecraft so far. Again. <laughs> I won't shut up about it. Um, it certainly has a very, very different feel to modern Minecraft. And I don't claim for it to be the best. Or, or better than modern Minecraft, but it's definitely something you should try. Because variety is the spice of life after all, and you might enjoy trying something different. How can I build this into this hill without ruining the look of what's already here? I need nine blocks of space, of vertical space. 
I could build it on the same level as this and do... I thought, so, thought I had a teleporting chicken there. One, two, three, four, five... Uh oh, night's falling. Six, seven, eight, nine. And then the roof would be... at this level. Why don't I start by digging it upwards from here just to see where it comes out? Uh... So that would mean the corner of this would be visible, but the rest of it would be sunk into the hill. I like that. I'm going to go with that. So if I just kind of outline this box, uh, it's going to have to it's going to have to come out to like here. That's fine. I'll build it first. I'll I'll cover it up and and you know build it into the hill later on. There, so that is... that is it. I could replace some of this with logs. I've got an idea. While my idea is cooking up, I'm gonna get digging. Now, digging out this large space really highlighted to me how slow it is to mine in beta 1.7. Um, there are no enchantments and no beacons, so a diamond... a diamond? <laughs> cut that out. A diamond post... Oh, cut it out in post. Diamond post? <laughs> I don't read from a script. <laughs> I just... I just wing it every time. A diamond... A a diamond pickaxe and a diamond shovel are the best you can get. <laughs> anyway, it was relaxing. I was relaxed. I'm very relaxed now. Um, and this was uh, the idea I had earlier when I started cooking up smooth stone. Was to make use of the old smooth stone slab and mix stone with wood for this effect. I like where this is going. Um, I'm just going to finish the interior now. I don't know if you remember me saying in a recent video, I like leaving the imperfections in things, especially when they're a result of just how it was built. So the reason these logs only come part way down is because this much of the cliff face uh, was was stone. In fact, I could even rev revert some of this back to the way it was. Since I've got so much smooth stone cooked up. There, I, I accidentally mined away one more layer than I should have. But yeah, look at that. You can kind of see now where it's built into the hill. Um, this side, this side's going to get awkward. This should be where my wall is. But I could make it as though there's like a support beam. <laughs> I'm even, I'm thinking architecturally, like real life. But see, this is what all my builds are based on. I want you to believe that this is an actual structure standing on the ground. Um, so if, do I do it that high or that high? One of the downsides of playing such an old version, the mechanics of placing blocks are just broken in places. I'll finish mining the rest of this out later, I think. I've already got enough space to be growing trees, so let's get some saplings and see how that goes. So with nine blocks of vertical space directly above each sapling, These oak trees should grow into nice, easily harvestable, manageable sizes. Oh! What's happened there then? It's kind of grown, but with no leaves. Oh, wait a minute. 
Oh, now we can't log back in. <laughs> Give me a sec. So it did grow leaves, but my client just didn't think it had. Cool. And so the arboretum is kind of finished for now. Of course, that means I can get rid of these trees. Oh, now they've grown into big ones. What was that? Oh, it was saplings falling into the water. False alarm. I think I've got them. And then this little area... There's a lot of space for activities. Ah. Just in time. Uh, do all the YouTube things. Hit the subscribe button. If my numbers are anything to go by. Um, most of you aren't subscribed. <laughs> it's cool. I don't mind. Subscribe if you want to. Definitely hit the like button though. That definitely helps. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll see you next time. Bye for now.